We know that rough-skinned newts live in forests in Oregon. Let's read the article, Wildlife in the Woods, to get to know a little bit more about the environment where rough-skinned newts live and their predator, the common garter snake. As you're listening, and maybe following along, think about what traits do these organisms have that help them survive, that might be adaptive, and what things in the environment might make it more likely or less likely that something will survive. Chapter 1, Introduction. The forests of Oregon are full of organisms, animals and plants, big and small, furry and feathered and scaly. All of these organisms have traits that make them well suited to living in the environment of Oregon. To learn about some of the organisms of the Oregon forest, read on. So when I look at this picture, I notice there are lots of plants. It's very, very green. And it also looks like it's misty, like there's a lot of moisture in the air. Chapter 3, Common Garter Snake. Common garter snakes are colorful snakes with long stripes that may be green, blue, red, orange, yellow, or brown. They can grow up to 1.2 meters, which is 4 feet long, but they are slender and harmless to humans. Seems like garter snakes have a lot of variation in their color. Often living along the edges of lakes and ponds, common garter snakes hunt small prey, both on land and in the water. Their excellent sense of smell helps them to find and catch young fish, frogs, newts, worms, insects, and other small animals. Like most snakes, they swallow prey whole. I wonder what the biggest thing a garter snake can eat is. Garter snake stripes make it harder for predators to see them when they are hiding in grass or reeds. Predators that eat garter snakes include larger snakes, birds, fish, and dogs. If caught, garter snakes produce a foul odor to try to drive their predators away. Unlike many other snakes, common garter snakes do not lay eggs. Instead, they give birth to live young, as many as 40 little snakes, all at once. I wonder if the smell of garter snakes is like skunk stink. Chapter 7, Oregon Grape Poly. Oregon Grape Poly was named for its berries, which look like grapes, and its leaves, which look like holly leaves. Like holly, this plant has sharp spines sticking out from the edges of its leaves. The sharp spines protect the leaves from deer and other leaf-eating animals. I wonder if there are organisms that can eat the leaves, even though they're spiky. In spring, bright yellow flowers bloom on Oregon Grape Poly plants. These flowers are the official state flower of Oregon. The flowers give way to clusters of berries in the summer, which ripen to become dark purple. Birds, black bears, and other animals eat the sour berries. I wonder how many berries a black bear can eat in a day. Now that you've learned more about common garter snakes in Oregon Great Poly, go ahead and record some notes about what traits might be adaptive and what things in the environment make it more likely or less likely for these two organisms to survive.